So in 2017, uh, the question was in 2015, in a particular country, the weights of 15 year olds were normally distributed with a mean of 63.5. So this 63.5 is your mean of your population, so it's you, and a standard deviation of 10 kg. 2015, Mariska was a 15 year old in her country. Her weight was 50 kgs. Find the percentage of students in the country who weighed more than Mariska. So once it says the percentage, and then give us a value there, we know we're going to be using our Z scores. So from up here. In order to get our Z scores, we're going to need to work out our Z value. So it's either going to be from this formula here, or this formula here. Or we're using this formula here, if you like to think of it, keep it simple. They don't give us the sample size, so we don't have a root n. We use this one. So Z. equal to x minus mu over standard deviation and your x value here is your 50 kgs so 50 minus 63.5 over your standard deviation which is 10 kgs so let's put that in your calculator over 10, which is minus 1.35. So where they've asked how many is more, so instead of saying the probability that the x is bigger than 50 kg, we now have this in our z scores, probability z is greater than minus 1.35. So if we're looking at that there in a normal distribution, there's your mean, minus 1.35, somewhere down here. Probability it's bigger than that is like that. Definitely more than half values. So definitely more than 0 0.5, definitely more than 50%. So you can simply look at your values for 